Alright, what's up YouTube? So today we're going to be working on my GTI. I got a brand new box full of parts. Got a bunch of certified used parts. I want to just replace the entire ignition system. So I've got a new ignition coil, a new distributor, new plug wires, and a new ignition control module. Since I did the ABA block swap, I'm going to have to switch the distributor gear. This comes off easy though. It's just a thir single 13 mil nut or 13 mil bolt. That's the beautiful part about these old cars is you have so much space. There's no not all that old that, all that extra junk. There's no not all that no not all that old that all that extra junk. Take the cap off. Disconnect this wire. And since all these wires are getting replaced, we can just pull these right off like that. Now this should just come right out. A little wiggle. There we go. So I gotta take this into the garage and I gotta knock this pin out so I can pull this gear off. So as you can see here, the gear from the distributor I just pulled out is larger than the gear on the, dis the new distributor I just got. So I'm gonna start with taking this distributor I just got and I'm gonna remove this pin. Now like I said, this is only if you have the ABA, if you've only, only if you've done the ABA swap in your car. Now if you don't know what that means, you don't have to worry about that. You would have had to swap the engine block out for a later Volkswagen engine. You can see this little pin. You have to whack that out. Now that's gonna be in there really hard on this one. So I'm gonna just put it in the vise and do my best to get that out. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Okay, so after a lot of banging and wailing on this thing, the pin will finally drop out. And then you can tap the whole distributor right off. And there it is, just like that. Now I have to do the same thing with the distributor from the ABA, but this is a lot easier to take this gear out because that's just a... Uh, that pin comes in and out easier. That's the one that came from Tektronix, so I'll just stick this in the vise and do the same thing. See how much easier that one came out. It's just one of that style. Now, before I put this gear on the new distributor, I need to take this ring off. And again, this, this whole thing is, all this distributor stuff is just for if you have the ABA. And I'll get that metal ring, slide that on. Like that, and then I can slip this right in here. Take this pin, and just tap it in so it's flush. Maybe just a tap or two more. But now this is ready to go in the car. Now before I do anything with the distributor, I need to get a 12.19 mil socket, go down to the crank pulley, which is all the way down here. Make sure the car is not in gear when you do this. There's an arrow right here that says OT on it. There's that OT. Gotta make sure that lines right up. In between the two teeth is where the arrow is pointing. Just like that. Now we're gonna come down here. You can see those two lines. We wanna spin that little thing so it lines right up with them. Then we can slip our distributor right in. We're gonna go in. We might have to do a little spinning motion. Might be easier to do with the cap off. There we go, we're in line. Beautiful. With that done, plug the distributor back in there. We can put this on, but we don't want to tighten it quite yet. The next thing I'm going to do is replace the ignition coil, which is back in here. I'm going to pull the wires off. Make sure you know where they all go. And then this should slide out. On the top, there's a flat head screw. You loosen that so the coil can slide in now. I'm not even gonna use this new bracket. I'm just gonna use the one that's in there. There's no reason not to. Okay, so I'm gonna just slide this new coil in. I'm gonna slide, spin it so the positive side is in the front. So I'll put this first wire. This comes forward. The way the firing order goes is I'm gonna connect the shortest one first. So that goes to cylinder number four, which is right here. The wire for number three goes from here to this one in the front corner to here. Cylinder number two. That one goes all the way in the back corner. 
and cylinder one goes in the front corner. Okay, and with all the wires done, I'm gonna come over to the ignition control module over here. Beautiful, comes right off, and then it's just two Phillips head screws. This other one is not quite the same, but I think it'll be okay. It does plug in. I'm gonna see if I can just leave it right there. I'm gonna try to start the car now. Well, pretty disappointing. You can't get the uh, car to start again. Uh, and I really don't think it's a fueling issue because I, um, I've replaced both the fuel pumps. I have a fuel pressure test kit that I guess I'm gonna try. I'll do that next. I really thought all this new ignition stuff was gonna make this thing work, but I guess not. Yeah, so if, if you did like the video and you wanna like and subscribe and comment, that would be really cool. And uh, if not, I guess tell me what you didn't like about the video in the comments so I can try to make better videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll have a new video up next Tuesday.